Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all okay. This is sort of an update video to a video I posted back in January called Who Are They Monitoring? And this was basically a video on the various communication sites at Werneth Low and Hyde and one of them that really stuck out to me and still does and still intrigues me is the Ofcom DF array that's up there. So the Ofcom DF array that's up Werneth Low is used for remote monitoring the radio spectrum, VHF, UHF and above. Uh, via the site up there and that is controlled from the Ofcom radio monitoring system down in Hertfordshire. So that place is actually used to monitor remote sites all over the UK to listen out for any interference to monitor spectrum usage and things like that and um, it just gives basically Ofcom a view of the radio spectrum across the UK what's being used and where. And of course it does help them to combat interference issues. So on the 7th of March 2006, so quite a while ago now, Cranes went onto the site of the uh, current DF array up Werneth Low. And uh, there was already a temporary structure up there on a lattice tower uh, mounted on a trailer. But they came to actually install a brand new DF array up here. It's standard Roden Schwartz equipment used by basically every single country's uh, regulatory bodies for communication. So Ofcom um, use these all over the UK um, in different sites just to monitor, monitor the spectrum. So the equipment is nothing out of the ordinary. And incidentally, I was in Berlin recently and there was a, a Roden Schwartz headquarters um, over there. So these cranes arrived up um, Werneth Low with all the equipment needed to install this new DF array and you can see it's quite a tall crane and you can see the DF equipment is just laid down on the side there and just to the left behind the van is the new pole that this would be mounted on. Um, you can see quite a close-up view there of the dome structure with its fabric covering just to protect all the internals and then a pentagon shaped frame around the outside which um, houses uh, well, which holds antennas and those are basically used for direction finding. Uh, these however aren't installed at this time. You can see the pole on the floor there so uh, the feeders go through the hole on the left hand side which will be the bottom and then they go up to the top it's just a way of protecting them. And then of course we can see the cabinet being lifted into place there at the back um, that cabinet houses the um, electronics for the equipment, so uh, any radio equipment, any computer, any service, things like that, and of course uh, power supplies for this thing. So you can see it's quite a large crane that's uh, used to lift this cabinet and mast into place. Um, you can just see the cabinet going into its spot there. That cabinet's actually still the one that's there today. And um, we can still see the directional array just lay on the ground there waiting to be put into position. So if we actually just have a look at the temporary mast, uh, the temporary structure that was um, up Werneth Low before this one, you can see it's a uh, white dome. It's got no antenna surrounding it, so I'm not sure the difference between this one and the other one in terms of how it works, but it's on a lattice tower with feeders going up to it, and it's a guide lattice tower that's mounted on a trailer um, just to the rear of the current site. I would imagine this hadn't been there for too long, maybe a period of weeks or a couple of months just to test the, the water, maybe seeing the viability of putting a, a direction finding array up here. Um, but it looks quite a temporary setup to me. Um, but I can't find any photos of this anywhere. So if anyone has any different thoughts on this, then um, just let me know in the comments below. But you can see it's um, quite similar uh, in that it's got a dome structure on the top. This one's white. I would imagine the new one was white under that fabric. Um, covering but it's hard to say how long this was up here and of course this could have had aerials around it surrounding it to assist it with direction finding but they may have been taken off this these could have been taken during the decommissioning process of, of this actual system so I'm not um, entirely sure on that so then it's time to actually lift the direction finding equipment into place so you can see it's quite a large structure when it's um, seen vertically there hoisted from the crane um, there's a control box at the bottom there. I'm not sure on the technical aspects of all this. I'm sure there's people watching this who are more um, involved in this sort of thing that can uh, advise on, on the more technical aspects of this uh, device. But you can see it's quite a, a large um, piece of equipment and I would imagine it was probably handled quite delicately as it was put on top of that mast. 
and then the last thing to do is just to fix it in place um, you can see here we've got a view from the cherry picker looking down at the crane it's quite a tall mast um, really and the elevated location of Werneth Low is um, an additional bonus um, for that um, I'm, I'm sure the the um, takeoff from where this is actually positioned is, is, is pretty good it's sort of covers uh, three or four different counties so definitely a prime location for this sort of equipment and you can see we've got a TCI VHF, uh, VHF switch there again guys I'm not too sure what that actually is there's plenty of coax coming out of it so let me know if you know what that is but there's the uh, the equipment in place on top so I'll leave that one there guys I just thought I'd share these interesting photos they've never actually been made public before so uh, as I say these were sent to me by a uh, viewer of the channel so thanks very much to you for sending me those pictures it's much appreciated and it's nice to see um, a little bit more of the history of this site. So yeah, if anyone's got any more information about this site or the previous temporary structure that was there or anyone wants to jump in with any comments, suggestions, questions um, or feedback then by all means do so in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've got plenty more coming guys. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you again. Cheers.